This is HyperCard. It's an app made by Apple that was supposed to be used for sharing your knowledge with other people by creating little presentations called Stacks. Of course, nobody actually used it for that though. Most people used it to make games. After finding out about HyperCard, I kind of wanted to try making a game in it, but there's one problem with that. It runs on a version of macOS that's been out of service longer than I've existed. So how was I able to use it? At first I thought I could just set up a virtual machine, which is basically a machine, but virtual. Yeah. So I downloaded an install disk, booted it up, and... I thought I had a corrupted install disk or something like that, so rather than trying another app, or even maybe googling something, I downloaded a way bigger ISO that took the whole night to download. Cool, it's done. Now let's see if it works. Now that I think of it, that one was probably loaded with viruses or something. So at this point I realized there may be something wrong with my virtual machine, so I decided to actually google stuff and apparently I have to use this app called Sheep Shaver to run it. It's a little bit more complicated to set up than a regular virtual machine. And it worked. So just like that, I had a Mac emulator ready to do whatever I want. But what can you do on Mac OS 9? I don't know, please solitaire? But more importantly, it can run HyperCard. I messed with some projects I found online, wrote some notes on things I thought would be useful, and then with that, it was time to make a game. HyperCard uses a scripting language called HyperTalk, which is actually pretty similar to normal English, so it's really easy to pick up. And like that, I've got a terrible game ready to be played. HyperCard was really fun to mess around with, and there's so much more you can do with it than I did, so maybe I'll return to it someday. If you want to play the game and are willing to set up a Mac emulator or actual hardware, then there's a link to the stack in the description. The rest of the video after this will just be the gameplay, but first I reached the goal of 14 subscribers, so I guess I have to do a voice reveal. Like and subscribe, if I can get to 50 subscribers I'll do a desktop reveal, so that'll be pretty cool. I also have a discord, it's linked in the description if that's interesting. Now onto the gameplay. Hey, I said don't do that. Stop it, it's very annoying. Look at this nice park. Why would you want to leave? There's a monster guarding the exit. You should stay over here. Great. You've been eaten. Why would you do that? Where are we now? Why don't you ever listen? If you really want to touch the bud, then go on ahead. Huh, I guess there's no way to get through.
You don't need to stay within the confines of the game window. Aw, thought I had you stumped. Oh well, maybe next time. Thanks for playing. Is an app made by Apple that was supposed to be used for sharing your... Why is 4 spelled twice? It's supposed to be used for for sharing your knowledge. Of course, nobody actually used it for that, though. It was used... Uh, of course, nobody actually used it for that, though. People used it to make games. Most people. So I downloaded an install disk, booted it up. That says botted it up. I know how to type. So at this point, I realized maybe there's something wrong with Oracle VM, which is the app I was using for my virtual... So at this point, maybe. At this point, I. Re so at this point, uh, I made a so just like that, I had a Mac emulator ready to go. Uh, ready to do it. Go over this audio. I messed with some projects I found online, wrote some useful notes. And Hypercard uses a scripting language called HyperTalk, which is similar to Hypercard uses the. Hypercard was. Re I say it too fast. Hypercard. Hypercard. I've